Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I have to show you this new product. Now I've never played with this yet. So this is new to me. This is from a company called Hometown Leatherworks. I just saw them, I think it probably was an ad on Facebook. Leatherific transfer paper. It's iron-on transfer paper. Print any design on your inkjet printer and easily transfer it to natural vegetable tan leather. So those are the two uh, qualifications we need to state, inkjet printer and vegetable natural vegetable tan leather. So I went ahead to test this out. I did purchase some of their white natural tan leather. And you can see I have three sheets of it in here. Ooh, that is super buttery soft. Nice. And a pack of this, and there are three sheets in here. Now, um, there are three of these transfer sheets in a pack, and I believe they're about $10. So the instructions, this comes in with the transfer sheets. The instructions are here. So you need to have a design. I've been using my Silhouette Design Studio to put my images together. So you'll see what I came up with. But we're going to print it out. And if I can find the opening here. And there's also this, which you're going to need it's probably some parchment or... Okay, so this shows you that this is like a transfer sheet and not what you're actually printing on. You're going to print on this, so you need to know which way to put this in your printer. So you're gonna print that out. It says to cut out the design. So in other words, you're not going to uh, just print, iron the whole thing onto your leather. You're gonna cut out what you need and then iron it on. And I'm going to use the Easy Press. It does give you instructions on that. If you're using an Easy Press, it says to do 265 degrees. Now they show the using the Easy Press here. I'm using my Easy Press. This shows a heat press with it, you know, the kind you clamp down. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use my Easy Press. So I will be pushing down though for about 15 to 20 seconds. So let's print this out first. Okay, now I need to show this to you. This is really amazing. So on my, I have an HP printer. So what I selected was high quality presentation paper and I selected print quality best. And this is what I came up with. So I'm going to peel the back off and press this onto the leather right there. I will trim off the borders and then I'm going to make this into a journal and isn't that cute. All the images that you see here uh, are from Knitwit. They're digital downloads. The set is called Be Lightful. So I think this is really cute. I could have left this all solid blue with the, with the bees, but I put the, uh, these are called ribbons in the digital downloads. I put two of them side by side. That's going to be my spine. So I, what we're gonna do, we're gonna peel the back off, stick that on there so you don't have to mirror your image, by the way, in case you're wondering. Then we're going to cover it with this and we're going to heat up the Easy Press to 265 and I'm gonna press down for like 15 to 20 seconds. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so I did trim off the extra around the edges. Now it says to peel off the backing. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I want to tell you, it's very hard to get that started. But what I'm thinking is, this is pretty thin here. It's like adhesive vinyl, but there's no adhesion to it at this point. You know, it's just, when I get that all clean. See, it's just like a, it feels like tissue paper. Okay, the Easy Press is heating up. I'm gonna take this upstairs to the Easy Press and we are going to do this 15 to 20 seconds. All right, now it says to let this cool before peeling, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, oh, this is just too exciting, too exciting. Now there are, see if I can zoom in, itty bitty tiny, tiny cracks in the design. I don't think it's gonna cause me any issues, but 
you can't tell that this is, I mean, you don't really feel it. That is just awesome. So I'm going to take some sturdy scissors, maybe the Tim Holtz one, and cut out around here so that I have that right against the border there. We'll cut that out and then we're going to turn this into a journal. <laughs> okay, change of plans though. And I think this is going to be really exciting. So you know my friend Karen, <laughs> I show you journals that she has made. Often when I'm doing uh, videos, I show you projects she has made and sent me. And actually, I had her in mind when I uh, did this because I wanted to give this to her. And that's why I said, buy Lolly down here. So I uh, was going to turn this into a journal and send it to her. But then she and I were chatting. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give her this cover. And she is going to put her stuff on the inside to make it into a journal for herself. So I think that's exciting. So I will be showing you more, uh, as time goes on, more uh, of my projects using this product. So far, thumbs up. And about the cracking, I don't know if that's operator error. I mean, it's not actually a crack. It's just tiny little white crack lines in there. I don't know if it's something I did from too much heat, not enough heat, whatever. So, so far, I'm impressed. I think this is fun, and what a great use uh, of leather. I don't know if these transfer sheets can be used on anything else, and I don't know if any other transfers can be used. For instance, uh, t-shirt transfers, can they be used on leather as well? Don't know. Uh, but I know on those ones, you're actually transferring the ink, not the entire sheet like this is. So there's nothing left over on the backup sheet when I, when I peel that off. The entire transfer gets put into the leather, if that makes any sense. So thank you for watching. Give the video a thumbs up and please take a moment to subscribe.